Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic which is on SAP MMC. So what is SAP MMC? SAP MMC stands for SAP Management Console. Using this tool we manage the SAP system. So in a Windows environment what happens is that say, let's say I connect to the Windows environment and here you can see that this is the icon which is SAP Management Console. If I double click on this you will see this icon so let me close this and open it again so here you can see when I start you will see this particular window in a Windows 2008 server 2 so I just need to click on yes and once I click yes here you can see that this is trying to manage the SAP systems and if I just expand this here you will see the different systems which is being managed by this system so here you can see this is the system which is being managed. So let me expand this so that you'll get a feel of what are the different things being managed using this particular SAP MMC and what it reports on. Okay, so if you click here on the process list, you will see the two different processes which is JSTART IGSD, IGSWD. Okay, then you can see the different things like current status. Okay, so this is asking for the username password. Let me give the username password for this because whenever you connect first time, it will ask for the authentication. So after you provide the authentication, it will say different status of different processes. You have open alerts, you have the syslog information. Then these are the queue statistics. Okay, in the queue statistics, it is showing about the ICM statistics. Okay, then we have the access points which shows the different ports which is being used. So here you can see the different ports that it is TTP port which is, which is 50,000. You have P4 which is 5 then system number then 04. Then you have IIOP which is 5 then system number 07. You have Telnet port which is 5 system number 08. Debug port 5, system number 21, HTTP port 5, system number 13, HTTPS, then you have IGS port. Okay, so these are the different access points which is available. Now, let's go to the next which is the Java process table. Okay, here you can see these are the different keys, servers which are running. So, in case if something is not running, you can start and stop the process. So if you just start it, this is, this will say whether it is starting or not starting. So if there is an error, say for example, what you can do is you can right click here, click on the developer trace. So when you click on the developer trace, it will give you more information about why this particular process is not running and what it takes to start this particular process. So here you can see this is a process, ICM process is there, server 0 is there. Okay, so these are the different processes that is there. Then here you can see the ICM is there. So if I just click on ICM, in the ICM you can see the different, what is the status of ICM, which is, which it is showing the ICM is running. Okay, then if you click on the monitor tab, so by default is the monitor tab. Okay, then we have, we can see the active services. Okay, then here you can see the port red status host name buffer then we have the MPI status okay so basically these are the things which can be monitored for the ICM process using this interface and if I expand this it will give me different monitoring statistics see the key thing is about the connections which is there then we have the proxy connections if we are using proxy okay then here you can see the information about the processes. So these are the three key processes. You can see this is a message server, you have the MQ server, you have the gateway. Okay, so these are the different processes which is running on this. This being a Java system, so in a Java based system, these are the different processes that you will be seeing. Okay, let me show you the same thing on a web based model. So this is the interface that you will be seeing. 
okay and how to get to this particular interface is here you can see that this is our nwda so netweaver application server java and under netweaver application server java itself you have uh, sap management console so how do you get to the sap management console so you just type the system name then the port number on which this admin port is running and it will take you to this particular page and if you click on sap management console it will take you to the management console okay so here you can see the management console let me open this particular management console for you so this console it is exactly the same that we saw at the os window here you can see this is a showing the database so if i click on this this is telling the status of the database okay, so database component os component then this is Z00 process okay, so this is basically the internet communication manager over here and if I just click on this this is telling that it's running okay, here we can see the process list different processes so these are all the same things that we just saw in our previous window so if I want to see the details of this I just need to log in okay if i log in this is what it will okay now here you can see all the different processes that we saw when we are connected to the server so as java is there so this is the process table then we can see go to the different tab and see the different process tables so this particular window it requires an icm password so we need to supply the icm password to access this Okay, then let's go to this SCS01, same thing here also, you can see the different process. So this window is exactly the same thing that we saw here, but this is a, uh, an MMC, SAP MMC window opened on the desktop. Okay, and this is SAP MMC window using the Java based applet. Okay, so that is about the SAP MMC. That's what actually I wanted to cover for a Java based SAP MMC. So let me go to uh, another system where we have the ABAP based MMC. Okay, so let me connect to the system and we will see how the ABAP based MMC looks like. So I'm connecting to a system. So, so far I have shown you the Java based MMC, the MMC for the Java based system. Okay, so let me try to log in to an ABAP or a dual stack based system. So, this is basically I am connecting to a solution manager. So, if I connect to the solution manager here, you can see this is the SAP MMC being shown over here. And here you can see this is your system ID you have this is the ABAP instance this is your Java instance so that we'll see the different processes in both of them so these are the different processes for the Java ins ABAP based instance and these are the processes for the Java instance okay so access points we have these are the different access points we have few statistics okay then so if you see the monitor monitoring perspective this looks almost the same as the ABAP based or the Java based system so both are almost the same so that's what I wanted to tell you guys that from monitoring perspective the SAP MMC from the administrative perspective also it looks exactly the same okay here what you can do is you can stop it you can start it okay you can restart it if you see all the tasks so this basically shows you that what you can do with this particular SAP MMC you can stop it you can start it you can do whatever you want basically you can manage this from this particular interface so let me go to the other system and show you how you can see the same thing in the SAP MMC okay, so we just saw how this particular 
stopping and starting and working so if I just stop it right now you can see the color is green which means the it is up and running and if I just click on stop it it is asking me do we want to do a hard that is immediately stop the system do we want to do a soft start okay that is drains CPI and SP first and then it will stop it okay so I'll just do hard start over here and if I just refresh this is a refresh button so if I just refresh it will show me what is happening which other uh, process which is getting stopped okay to stop it we can use we could have used this tab as well okay for starting we can use this tab as well so that is about what are the different things available so here you can see that it is going down from green it is becoming yellow so let's give it a few seconds and you will see the yellow tab changing to a gray tab so this takes some time depending on what activities are being performed on this particular SAP system so once all the activities have been stopped then the system will go down okay so if you want to stop in another system we can just go to stop and we can just stop this particular system as well okay so now if I want to start it here you can see that everything is in gray status that means everything is stopped okay, I just give right click click on stop or we could have done it from here so if I want to start this system I will just click here and click start okay so if I just keep refreshing this here you will see the status changing slowly so this has become green now okay so let's keep refreshing this and if I just refresh this it will show me that what processes have been started so far in this particular system okay, let me click on the process list you can see that starting the process this particular process is running and it will take some time depending on how many applications it is trying to run okay so this is the tab that I just keep refreshing it or if I can just click here and keep refreshing it okay so take some time depending on the on the different applications which is running okay, so that's what I wanted to cover in this particular section thank you thanks for joining and have a nice day bye bye